There we go. Come on over here, Larry. Tell your cousins to go away so we don't have to keep killing you. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Snowbound Survival Series, where we play 7 Days on Insane Difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we play on a map that's made up almost entirely of the snow biome generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. So, uh, we left off in the last episode. We did that treasure, and uh, our plan was to go find the desert biome, and it still is, but we found this uh, Favales Academy, and uh, there are a lot of lockers in this place, which means there's chances for us to find uh, puffer coats and uh, beanies, both of which would really help us with the cold. So I think we're going to take a little bit of a sidestep and see if we can get into this place and, um, you know, check those, uh, uh, check those things out. Now, we do have Zekers around here. There's actually sleepers right on the other side of that wall, and there's a Larry right there. And I think we need to, there's two Larrys, I think we need to clear them first because I don't want to be, you know, trying to fight my way into this building and have these guys come and hit us from behind, which they have been known to do. So let's go ahead and put this here. I think we're going to try and pull one at a time because when we get uh, two, they can jump up on each other's shoulders and then things do not go well for us. So we're going to kill this. Uh, oh, we knocked him down. Awesome. Uh, we're going to kill this Larry um, quietly, and maybe the next one, too. Oh, nice. He doesn't even see us, so we get another free shot. Wham! Oh, right in the face. <laughs> You're going to have to go see the dentist after that. Oh, look at that. Another one. Surprised he doesn't see us. My goodness, we're right here. I'm not complaining. I'm just surprised. Good lord, we shot that guy in the face three times with a crossbow. He's still alive. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, man. Okay. Um, I thought there was another Larry over that way, too. Let's throw a rock and see if we can get his attention. Because what I don't want to do is fire a gun and then wake up the sleepers behind that wall and have another Larry and have like three of them on us at the same time. That might not go well for us. Maybe not. Maybe there isn't another Larry or perhaps there was and he's moved along. Okay, now can we get the attention of the dudes behind this wall? I don't think a stone wakes up a sleeper actually now that I think about it. Um, all right, let's try this then. Because, you know, we're going to have a fight getting in here. Uh, Favales is not some, a place you can just simply waltz right into without any resistance. So we're going to need, um, you know, we're going to need to make sure the outside's clear so we don't get ganked from behind. Uh, let's also just go over here and double, triple check that there isn't actually another Larry over here. Like I thought there was. Yeah, there there is, but he's... He's, he's on his way down the road, so I think he's not going to be a problem, as long as he doesn't turn around and come back this way. Um, oh, there's a Larry there. That, that Larry's a lot closer. Oh, he is coming back this way. Dug on it. Okay. Well, let's deal with this other one first, because he's actually closer and the bigger threat. Right in the ass. <laughs> oh, man. I love that knockdown effect that we got from reading that magazine a couple episodes ago. Seriously? I can reach that school bus from here? No way! <laughs> that thing is like 20 feet away from me! Oh, man, that is hilarious. Actually, I'm going to just leave that in there for now. So he's still kind of hanging out over there. I think what we should do is probably just pull him over here. Uh, and take care of him. Okay, we got him out of the way. So that should clear all the Larrys out of here in the immediate vicinity. 
Let's just go look around this corner, because I did not know that other Larry was here. He surprised me. All right, I think we're clear of Larry's. Now, the, the other question is, do we want to try... Should we try and clear these sleepers out on the other side of this wall? Because if we start, you know, shooting our, our weapon while we're trying to get in there, it could potentially... Doggone it, Larry! Okay, there is one, like, way over there. There's two way over there, okay. Okay, let's, um, let's deal with these guys too, just to be on the safe side. You know, plus it's more XP for us. Can we pop that Larry from way the hell over here? Let's get way above his head. Oh, yeah. Load up a crossbow. Bolt. That's a long ways off. Let's go a little higher. <laughs> I don't know. I think the crossbow bolt might be disappearing before it gets that far. Let's try one more time even higher. No. Okay, yeah, that's too far away. <laughs> it's a little too far away. All right, let's try this again. We'll get this other sleeper out of the way, and then we can proceed... Is that easy? I think that's just easy. Either that or we knocked his leg off. Oh, that Larry's getting close. Yeah, we're gonna have to deal with that Larry too. There we go. Come on over here, Larry. Tell your cousins to go away so we don't have to keep killing you. Okay, now are we clear? <laughs> Let's take one last look-see. Okay, there might still be a couple sleepies out that way, but as long as there's nothing up against the wall, I think we'll probably be okay on this side. Okay, I think we're clear that way too. Kind of tempted to break into the Shotgun Messiah while it's right next to us, but let's... Oh, shit, there's another... Oh, shit, he's right there, too! Larry! You just won't go away! All right, let's do this. If something comes at us from behind, we're just gonna... AK their ass. Well, their head, actually. Oh, there's another Larry. <laughs> I can't believe it. Give me a break. Okay. Can we, can we proceed now, please? Thank you. <laughs> I mentioned this to you guys when we started this series. I, I told you that this game, the vanilla settings of this game, just spawn that guy in relentlessly. I mean, that son of a bitch is just all over the place. And it looks like the game just keeps spawning more in even after I clear the ones that are in the immediate vicinity. Uh, all right. Let's look around this corner one more time. All right, so let's uh, open the door. We need to repair this thing. I'm gonna block both of these doors. See, we got somebody already. 
Yeah, this place is, uh, got seekers in it for sure. Uh, let's put this here. I hope they don't try and jump on our head from up above. Because that guy sounds like he's actually on the second floor. Yeah, we woke up another one too. That's fine though. Come on, Zeekers. Come to the door. Come see who's at the door. Why does this school have phallic symbols sticking out the front of the building? That's just disturbing. Oh my goodness. Okay, so whoever we woke up is obviously inside, uh, or not in the, the front room here. Let's try this, though. Make sure we didn't get anybody's attention. I'm still a little bit nervous about who's behind us here. All right, here we go. Now we got some action. Okay, he's out of the way. All right, so she's out of the way. There you are, buddy. Clear behind us. Okay, I think we're clear. At least for the first uh, batch of sleepies here. Look at all these lockers. That's a good thing. You know what we're going to do here? We're going to put a door up here. Just so stuff can't run in right on in without any resistance. Okay, so we're going to we're going to make sure the place is clear first before we start looting, especially because lockers make a lot of noise when you uh, open them anyway. More than likely We've cleared everybody out on the ground floor. But let's just confirm that. We'll worry about the second floor later. Oh, that scared me. I, sh I, don't, I accidentally turned the, the boundary thing in the doodle on on the, the land claim there. Oh, we got them coming from both directions. Look at that. All right, he's going to break out first. Let's help him out a little bit here. Oh, do we have two Zeekers down there? I think we do. Looks like there might be a crawler or something down there. Oh, yeah, 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 there is. <laughs> this way, man. You're going the wrong direction. I keep hitting my own my own block there. Oh, he's getting me cornered. Nah! Die! Die! There we go. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. Okay. Come on, stamina. All right. He's taken care of. Whew. Let's eat one of these now, and we'll take a a cafe. Get a little stamina action going. Couldn't quite get to his head there. Yeah, 
There we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like I told you, this place isn't just going to let us waltz right on in without any resistance. Boy, isn't that the truth, too. Okay, let's get rid of those thingamadoodles. And uh, we'll put this back here. Easy had us cornered, man. I could have taken out my gun or even jumped up on here, but... I didn't want to do the gun to make excess of noise at this point. Okay, we're clear in there. And we're clear in here. Oh, look at all the bookcases, too. Okay, we're going to have some good stuff to loot in here. Um... Okay, so all of these rooms are clear. Let's check in here. That's locked. This is probably a restroom. Hello? Anyone home? Probably not. Okay, all clear in here. So this side of the building's clear. Now let's check this side. We might have more Zekers in the far uh, classrooms. Actually, I want to put this here and keep the hammer down there in case we need to upgrade a block really quick. Okay, that room's clear. Let's check these, this restroom here. Okay. And then finally the back classrooms here. We might have more res Yeah, I was going to say we probably have more resistance here. What about on this side? Yep, both sides. Just like before, man. Well, at least everything's consistent. We got two Zikaruskis in this one. And it looks like just one in there, so we need to focus on this one first. I'm going to risk a shotgun blast to try and get a two for here. It's getting dark. Just make sure nobody's coming down the... The stairs after shooting the gun. Okay. He's out of the way. I thought I saw something moving over there. It scared the hell out of me. All right, let's just put that there temporarily so we have some light. Okay, I hear footsteps outside. I'd prefer not to attract anyone's attention. I think we have the entire first floor cleared. There's a safe there too, awesome. All right, let's uh, let's just loot downstairs first and then we'll, we'll worry about upstairs. So our number one goal is to find a puffer coat and or a beanie. Take that. Don't really want to aggro whoever's out there, but we can't wait all night. I'm going to grab that for the time being. And actually, you know what? I'm going to grab this too. And the reason being is because we might actually end up setting up an outpost uh, near the the desert biome when we find it, so I'm going to want a cooking pot for that. Or three. Do we have cloth in our inventory already? Yeah, we do. Okay, we might as well harvest these couches. multiple Zeke's outside now. OK, 
Okay, let's scrap the bullet casings just to save the space. I kind of hate doing that because we're going to end up making them again, but at this point, space is more important. Let's cross over to here. And uh, we have a safe and a couple of chairs to harvest in a picture. Is this desk lootable? No. Uh, do we have leather? No, nah, I don't think I'm going to um, harvest the office chair right now, just because it's going to add more stuff to our thingamadoodle. All right, we have 17 lockpicks. Let's see how many it's going to take to open this up. That got somebody's attention. One thing of gold. Okay, well, whoever that is, it's not a Larry. So that's good. Trying to decide which... Or determine which side he's on. He's kind of like he's almost right in the corner here. Is this... Yeah, that's 12. Uh, you know what? He's not going to break in there anytime soon. Let's just forget about him. I don't think he's a threat at all, really, to be honest with you. Unless he happens to come all the way around the front. Let's check in here next. Got some bookcases. All right, give us something good. Sniper! Learn to craft armor piercing 762. Very nice. Okay, we'll take that. Kind of funny in our in our wasteland series, I was looking for that for a long, long time, and now we find it early on here. That's the way it goes. A wood splitter mod, okay. That's good. And that's really about all there is in here. Okay, let's cross. Wait, did we check this room? I don't think we did. Yeah, okay. Bookcase. Uh, we already know that. So we're just going to eat it. We'll get a little XP. I'm not going to take up a slot just for, you know, 160 coin at this point. Uh, there's not going to be anything behind those pictures because there's a stairway behind there. All right, so the lockers are going to make a lot of noise. Um, we might get somebody's attention. So let's just put that there, but I'm not going to upgrade it yet. Lord almighty, it's cold. 10 degrees outside. Woot! That's cold. Okay, come on, puffer coat and beanie. That's not a puffer coat, and that's not a beanie. That would be nice to have for the desert. All right, talk on it. Let's do this. Let's put that right there so we have some light. And we'll get that upgraded. And this upgraded. Uh, let's grab this. Oh, he's feral. Come on. Hacks hit. Hacks hit. All right, so we took care of those guys. Are someone trying to break through the back door here? Sure enough. They got us pinned down, man. Okay, I was going to go back over here real quick and just... We're really heavy. I'll make sure that's repaired. And you know what else we're going to do? Let's actually dump some... I don't care about that at all. This I might want to hang on to for, for the desert. But let's put uh, some stuff in here that we don't need on our inventory right at the moment. Just have to make sure I don't forget it.
Game is fighting us tooth and nail, man. Tooth and nail. What's going on over here? Okay. I'm glad the uh, upstairs zombies don't seem to be affected by all the noise that's happening downstairs. At least that it would appear that way. Let's, uh, let's see. That gives us 15 and 7. Those are both the same. So let's just eat that right now so we can get our stamina cap back up. What a struggle, huh? What a struggle. Put that back down there. Put this here. I think we're I think we're in good shape for the moment. So where did we leave off? I don't even know where the hell we were. I think we went we went in here, right? Yeah, we checked that bookcase. So I was talking about how we couldn't break the pictures and the oh yeah we we had started doing the lockers okay. Uh, this has fourteen cold resist, which is actually one less than what we're wearing. However, this was the one that gives us ten run speed. <coughs> Here's what we're gonna do with this: we're gonna keep this, and when I get to the point where um well i guess i don't have room for it in there when i get to the point where i have enough um temperature resistance what the hell is it called well insulated to where we could afford to wear that jacket we're going to wear that jacket because i like that i like that jacket with the run speed but right now i don't think we can afford to give up the protection that we have currently scrap that uh that's not we don't need that for anything Denim pants. These are not as good as the BDUs that we're wearing. I don't think... Well, wait. No. I don't think we're going to find better pants than the BDUs. I don't think. I can't think of anything that is better. And hopefully we'll find a BDU shirt, too. Because I think that is also probably the best shirt in the game. Oh, nice. With maybe the exception of the flannel shirt. What do we have here? Nice! Okay, that'll come in handy when time for us to do some building and upgrading and whatnot. And there is the gyrocopter chassis. You know, in the in the in the wasteland series, I actually found the gyrocopter schematics, both of them, uh, fairly early on, and we ended up actually having a gyrocopter before we even had the four x four, and maybe even the motorcycle. I don't know, but definitely before the four x four. So that was kind of interesting. All right, come on, puffer coat. Nah, we don't need another one of those. I don't care about the die either, incidentally, in case you're wondering. There we go! Skull cap. Okay, plus eight, you guys. Plus eight. Now, you know what would be better, though, um, is the skull cap mod. But this is actually improved. Now, we are going to give up... Uh, we are going to give up 12 armor rating. Um... We need about 12 armor rating and a storage space to do this, because we can't put these. Oh man. Hmm. Okay, let let me see something here. Modify. Yeah, we can't we can't put anything on here, not even a pocket. <sighs> but man, that is a lot more cold resist. Maybe what I'm gonna do is keep I'm definitely gonna keep it for now. And what we could do is if we're out in the wilderness, you know, trekking and it gets colder than the witches, you know what? <laughs> um, we could sw swap these out. It also means, however, I'm, I'm going to take up a space carrying that. Hmm, I don't know. We'll think about that. What would be much better is if we could actually find the beanie mod, because then, you know, we get all the effects of the beanie, but we can still wear armor. So we'll see. We're not done yet. Look at that. Four bookcases. Amazing. Okay, so do 10% more damage to safes. Thank you very much. And we can make bandages. Hallelujah. When we get to the desert, we'll be able to pick a bunch of aloe and do just that. Antibiotics are good. Herbals and muffled connectors. This is like Christmas. And plaster cast schematic. We already know that. We already know that. And we'll grab the paper. Okay. Good. That was a uh, that was profitable. 
That was definitely profitable. We got a backpack here. What's in there? Um, okay. Nothing that's as good as what we have. We could fix that up and sell it for probably, I don't know, 180 but I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think that's worth the inventory space it would take to do all that. So let's leave it. I think we're finished with the ground floor now. Oh, no, we're not. We need to do this room. I knew that. I was just testing you guys. 10% more sneak damage tonight. Yes, please. Oh, and look at that workbench. All right, all right. So now we can make the workbench and the chem bench. See, we can make the workbench now and the chem. So what we need is we need the schematic for the cement mixer and the schematic for the forge. And then we'll have all four of the workstations that we need. Okay, we'll take that. Come on, moldy backpack. And now, screw that stuff. Okay, ground floor is done. Oh man, this is uh, this is taking a while, isn't it? Uh, we're already uh, 40 minutes into this episode, uh, but I, I am going to do some editing, um, and we'll do a little bit of time lapse. We got more lockers here. Okay, we already have the BDU bottoms, and this is actually two less heat resist than the ones we're currently wearing. They're not worth much to sell, so we will scrap them for the cloth. How about a BDU top? Um, is this better than the t-shirt? Or, I mean, the, the tank top? We'll, we'll compare the two. Alright, another beanie. That one has plus... That has 11 cold. What's this have? That has 11 and 2 heat resist. So the one we currently have is actually better than this. Alright, so let's just scrap both of these for the cloth. I don't think we checked the bathrooms, did we? I'm all confused. Nah, we don't care about that. How about a bandage? Nah, I, I would keep those, but not a priority right now. And we don't care about that. Toilet pistol? Okay, I think that's it for this bathroom. Okay, so this one has, um, 10 heat resist. That one has 9, so the tank top is better. Uh, this is for our desert garb, because we are going to need desert clothing when we go there to mine. We're gonna have, Obviously, we're going to have the exact opposite problem. Um, you know, with the temperature, so... Now, um, we're going to have more Zika Ruskies up here for sure, so let's just kind of quietly sneak up here and assess the situation. Pretty creepy with the torch, huh? All right. That might be a sleeper lying on the floor across the hallway there. Can we get this? Yeah, I think that is a sleeper. I can't quite tell where their head is though oh okay how are we gonna do this you know what might work is if we kind of perch up well the wall it's only th no it is four blocks high in here okay you know what we could do is we could potentially set up uh on the wall so I'll put two blocks down and stand on top of it, and then fight anybody from there. The pro potential problem with that, though, unless... Oh, no, you know what we're going to do? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a new one. We just have to remember the one that's out in front of the building now is no longer going to be good. But if we can put this on the wall, then we're, we'll be fine, because there's no way they're going to break that. Not, not before we'll kill them, anyway. Okay. 
So, our best bet here is to just let these guys break through the door, and then we'll just sledgehammer them quietly so we don't wake up that sleeper over there. And then once they're eliminated, then we'll then we'll pull that one over. Okay, that worked out pretty good. Now let's let's go ahead and grab the uh, crossbow. Excuse me. And pull this sleepy over. You know what we did there? <laughs> we we quote unquote knocked him over, even though he was already on the ground. At first, I thought maybe we'd kill him in one shot, but uh, that was not the case. Hey, we got a level. Beautiful. Beautissimus. Let's look at that. So, let's see. We were going to... We're going to focus now on fortitude. We took healing factor last time. We're going to take pain tolerance this time. And then after that, we're going to start pumping fortitude itself. Very good. So we're just a little bit tougher now. Uh, reduce hit point loss by 5% and 20% less chance to get stunned. We'll take it. All right. Well, I think it's pretty safe to say that these two rooms are clear. Um, let's make some noise and just see what happens. All right. Well... This is spooky as I'll get out. Whew, okay. This room's clear. Let's not assume that both of these rooms are clear. Oh, that, that door never did get broken down. Okay, so those rooms are clear. What about in here? Anybody? Hello? Okay, that room's clear. All right, we just have two more rooms to, to check, and then we should be free and clear to loot. All right. No, no nobody's riled up. It's a backpack. All right, awesome. We have cleared the top floor. So let's get this sucker looted and then we need to wrap up this episode. <laughs>